Pipeline cyber attack, security and protecting our infrastructure is top of mind right now. President Biden today saying things like water systems and electric grids are the lifelines that need to be protected. ABC Action News reporter Heather Leake going in depth tonight, showing us why the cybersecurity industry is rapidly growing and how that job is actually much more difficult than that of a hacker. As our technology grows, so do our vulnerabilities. Anything can be attacked. Your car, your Barbie doll, your elevator, your refrigerator, <laughs> yeah. anything. Alper Yaila, professor of cybersecurity at the University of Tampa, says the good news is more people are interested in fighting the good fight. Students enticed by a difficult task. This is not a, a boring job. It's a challenging job. And when you are working as a cybersecurity professional, the the other party hackers are you know they are as smart as you are they're maybe they're more skilled they may have more resources so it's a it's a big challenge and demand is big right now ut is filling it with programs on all educational levels yaila has been teaching cybersecurity since 2005 and says the curriculum is changing rapidly because the threats are too every year i have to update my slides i have to change my um class exercises. He says fighting cybersecurity is hard because for the hackers, although they may fail numerous times, it only takes one success to win. On the other hand, the, 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 the companies, they need to be secure every single day. So that is a, a huge disadvantage. The odds are against us uh, or the companies. Plus, real hackers are hard to catch, which means there's not a lot of accountability. Because there's no downside. Right. You know, I attack and attack, attack, and they can't really catch me. The only thing that can happen is like I'm not successful, so I'm just losing time. President Biden taking steps to change that. And our Justice Department has launched a new task force dedicated to prosecuting ransomware hackers to the full extent of the law. Yaila says some proactive companies even hire what the industry calls white hat hackers to try and hack into their system to expose weak spots in their security. And the Biden administration is asking government agencies to work more closely with private sectors to identify risks and beef up security. We've posted the president's full executive order on our website, abcactionnews.com. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.